It's like really like why can't he walk over here? Like he has four fucking legs. It wouldn't be a, an epic quest if you didn't go next to the shrine of Remulus to combine it even though it like literally doesn't make a difference. Yeah, let me go over there and then run my happy little ass back, huh? Well, you have no choice. I mean, oh, I guess I could have just used teleport Moonglade. Hey, <laughs> hey, I forgot about that detail. Anyway, my point still stands. If you didn't realize that you had that, you would have ran all the way back like I did. At least halfway there. And yes, at that point, it probably would have been faster for me to just keep running, but it's the principle of the thing. Aquatic form. Return to Thunder Bluff and show Turak Rune Totem the pendant of the sea lion. Yeah, okay, buddy. Sorry for all this running around. We're not working on souvenirs of death or dangerous right now. What are we doing here? Accept Steel Snap, the Sacred Flame, Turn to Thunder Bluff. Except the flying machine airport. Well, they don't do that anymore, so. We probably won't be doing that either. Although, us going to Ashenvale at 26 seems like a good idea, but I don't know. God, I hate Ashenvale. I'm not looking forward to doing that place. I guess it would be harder on warriors, but it's going to save you so much time in the long run to just go here and do these quests when they're more annoying. Says the person who only ever plays mage and rogue. Not mage, sorry, hunter and rogue. I suppose it will be annoying for some classes, but... It's just going to save you so much time. But not really, because some classes just take longer to kill things. Whoa, yo. Hmm. Ashenville normally gets you how many levels? I think it's uh, two, right? It's going to save you so much time in the long run. It's a better route. Because you just run from Ogrima to the Rake. I mean, that's where it's wanting us to go. Like, we run from Org up into Ashenvale. But, I mean, at this point, since my hearth wasn't in Org... I'm just going to fly to the crossroads and run up so I can turn in that Kadrak and all that shit and do Torex Assault if it's up. Which I really don't want to do, but, you know. These are the options we have. You have to do Ashenvale. You can't really start skipping zones until, like, well, right now you can technically skip Stone Talon. You used to do Stone Talon for a level. At this point, you would go to Stone Talon Mountains. My bones jerk. But yeah, we get to train all of our skills. Like rake and shred and what else? Um What am I supposed to be getting? The demolition hammer at level twenty four, well. And big stick is the next thing I could possibly get at level thirty two if it's even up. Um, so yeah, we're going to be getting Rake, Remove Curse, Tiger's Fury, and Shred. Assuming Remove Curse isn't a Druid quest, which it doesn't appear to be. So yeah, after we're going to put all our points in Ferocity, and then we're going to put five points in Feral Aggression... 
at that point will be like level 31 and then the next level will be getting ferocious bite oh there we go thanks um hmm, that's not important i'll get thorns just in case so rake tiger's fury And remove curse. So feral combat, we got rake, which is whale. We also got aquatic form, which is like, you know, who cares? Put that there. Like aquatic form is like borderline useless in my opinion. You can't fight in it. It's just like, if you need to loot crap, like, the only thing it's going to come in handy for is, like, the one underwater quest in Arathi Highlands. And even then, it's only the, when we're looting the gems, assuming we can loot the gems in form. But I guess, you know, in between the gems, it's, it'll be technically usable. One minute cooldown. Oh, it's a one second cooldown. It costs 30 energy. Increase damage done by 10 for 6 seconds. Yay, we got a damage buff. By 10 for 6 seconds. We're really going to be rolling in the DPS now. Like, I just can't believe how hard we're going to roll in it. He can drown in it. Now, where do I turn this quest in? Ah, I know. Spirit Rise, which is over that bridge. The gang's all here. Arr, Tiger's Fury for six seconds. I assume you want to keep that up all the time. Increase damage on by 10 for 6 seconds. I mean, as soon as you shapeshift into form, you can use it. So there's that, I guess. There is that. By 10, though, that seems like such a low number. But does that mean that, like, my auto attacks just do 10 more damage? Or it was 34 to 44. Does that mean it jumps up to 44 to 54? Because then that's okay. Because then it's like, you know, like a... Might not be too bad then, if that's the case. If that's the case. But we shall see. Yeah, normally you'd be moving like 30% faster. If you went straight feral. And you'd be closer to down here where you have all your crit talents and stuff. But I'm satisfied with my choice. Because like... You know... 10% you deal with physical attacks in all forms. My bleeds are physical. Oops, it's down here. And like rip was the only combo spender I had. It's still the only one I have until level 32. Let me see 32 is ferocious bite, so You know that talent this talent is basically like a dead talent like unless you're getting it for the damage reduction for demoralizing roar, which whatever. But if you're getting it for the 15% damage increase to Ferocious Bite, like, it's a dead talent until level 32. It literally does nothing for you. Feels the vial. The toxin is ready. Yeah, they don't do that anymore, so. You could do Stone Talon. There are no, the elite quests aren't there anymore. It's just that Stone Talon does kind of blow because it's a lot of kill and collect quests. Like, I mean, all of them are, but like obnoxious, like seven, you know, you got to kill 28 harpies, but there's not always seven up of each one that you're supposed to kill. Um, you got to kill elementals that are hard, that are like 
specific fire elementals you got to kill at least 10 of those and there's only ever like 10 of them up if no one else is doing the quest that is um you have to do this long ass kill and collect chain for jinzil it's um it was required pre burning crusade because that was the only experience you had access to. But you don't really have to do it now if you don't want to. Like, I don't mind the look and feel of Stone Talon. It's just those quests are a bummer. Because uh, you kill a lot of things and loot a lot of things, and it's a very boring. Uh, fly to crossroads, my good man. Oh shit! No, we need we need to go accept um, steel snap. Good thing I remembered. I don't have feline graves yet, so please don't die. Bayug. Undead priest. What are you doing here, sir? Hoist the sails. Sort bags. Okay, but well we have the wool cloth turned in. I guess I could have turned this in while I was here. I mean, I might as well if I'm here. I feel like you just kind of do these as you're in town, so we should do that while we're here. Let me make this my home just in case. <clears throat> Pardon me. And I think that's what we were supposed to do. Um, I don't know why that dude flew to Orgrimmar though. I wasn't really paying attention to as to why that happened. It sucks because at level 24 you're supposed to get an upgrade from doing quests in Southern Barrens called the Demolition Hammer for a druid for doing um, weapons of choice but you know the speedrunners know best no it's just gonna save you so much time in the long run no you should go to Ashenvale because it's just gonna save you so much travel time it's gonna make you perfect even though you know you might not be playing a class that can actually do the stuff that we're doing because all we play are hunters and rogues hunters and rogues with their ability to you know literally cc things for days and uh hunters can just do whatever the fuck they want because they're two people Practically, because it's like tch, they have a pet that does everything for them. It's not the hunter's fault that they're designed to be efficient questers. Like, you know, they're like whenever you play a hunter, yeah, it's like night and day as a questing class. Night and day for sure. Nine hundred and fifty. That's hardly worth anything. Wonder if I should have did it with a different reputation. We never went to Undercity, so we're not gonna go to Undercity until level twenty, level thirty. What brings you here? Crossroads, please. Oh, I'm sorry. How rude of me. You couldn't just un fucking transform me. <laughs> it's just going to save you so much time going there and trying to kill fucking. What's his name? 
sharp talon, a level 31 mob, and he's six levels higher than you. But you can do it. Everyone can do it. It's just going to be really hard. I am not looking forward to that. Just got to get him down to half health and then have those people kill him. Easier said than done. I don't know. I was supposed to test it on other classes, but I never did because I have university. This accent is uh, slowly turned into like a Spanish accent. All the classes while I'm playing Ohana. And the rogue and warrior who has retaliation. You know, meanwhile, as a hybrid class, you kind of don't have anything. Like, literally, entangling roots. And as a torrent, we have war stomp. And you technically have bash, but that costs me. 167 mana to use. So in a really stressful situation. Um, not even the stressful part. Like I just will not have enough mana. Um, there's a bag vendor over here. I can buy one more. Like 10 slot bag. Heavy brown bag I mean. Looking in the wrong place here. I guess other classes might do Southern Bairns first. I don't know. It would just ruin your efficiency. What do we got here? A scroll of spirit. They really elongate their O sounds. As someone who likes linguistics, it's very interesting. Out of range. Um. Oh yeah. Let's put that scroll of spirit on me. Egg hunt. You don't even do egg hunt on the new version. I've been walking down the street now. What do you got for sale, friend? Blood and Feral blade. What is this? Teaches you how to sew phoenix pants. Interesting. Increases damage done by fire spells and effects about the 10. Uh, that's okay. You don't really play fire. As a... Leveling. Although when I wanted to level a mage, I plan to do my Icy Hot build. I'm sure it, that build already exists. But I wanted to call it like the Icy Hot build. Where I go like... Far enough into frost to get cold snap. And then do the rest into fire. And like the main damage would come from my fire spells and the shatter procs. Oops, we gotta go this way. Butter fingers. Wait, okay, turn in report to Cadrack up there. And then if it's up, we do Torex Assault, and then we go to Splinter Tree Post and collect all the quests. And Sharp Talon, he's a level 31 mob right here. Would you stop? You're really annoying me. Sorry. It looks like that's what it does do. It just does what it says on the thing. It adds 10 to this number. Which is alright. I mean, 6 seconds is kind of low and 30 energy is kind of whack. <clears throat> Pardon me. But it's not worth killing them because... um. Like, they don't give us any experience, so. See, what I should have been doing is going out the north entrance. Blood Elf Warlock. 
Ooh, child, you should have stayed in Ghostlands because it's way more efficient for you. And you don't even have your... You're an officer, too? Ooh. Oh, my dear. You were having a rough time out of you, ain't you? Sorry, I meant to do this. Enjoy your buffs. Oh, my dear. Like, all your quests for Blood Elf are in Ghostlands. Like, 20 isn't where... It is, like, it's not until level 20 that the quests, like, sort of become, like, you, you get them in the same area. Like... If you start, if you're a Blood Elf, you get your quests in Eversong Woods and Silvermoon City. Like, if you're an orc, you get your quests in Orgrimmar. If you're a troll, you also get your quests in Orgrimmar. If you're a Tauren, you get your quests in Thunderbluff, usually. I'm going to have to take a break here in a second and go use the restroom. I'm gonna have to mute my mic for sure because I don't want fucking DMCA strikes on me because of this stupid clown. Clowns, clowns everywhere. I'm not expecting Ashenvale to be any better. I honestly hate Ashenvale. The quests there blow. And the atmosphere isn't. It's like all the other forests, but not as cool to me for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I like Feralis way better than Ashen Vale. I like, you know, Ungoro, even though that's the jungle, it's not really the forest. Like, if I'm looking for a place that's, like, full of trees and stuff, I'd rather be in Feralis or Ungoro. Um, so we're not doing this yet. We're doing this part first. Um... Turn in Torox Assault, turn in the Ashenvale Hunt, except Satyrhorn, Stone Town Standstill, and Ashenvale Outrunners. So yeah, it wants us to kill Sharp Talon. He's required. There's a hidden quest. Like, it's kind of told through to you through the Ashenvale Hunt. Like, there's three, you know, it's they say there's like three um, beasts out there that are like really rare or really hard to find, and you gotta kill them. Uh, that's what it's a uh, and so it's Sharp Talon, or Sand Ghost, and Shade Umbra, or Shad Umbra, whatever. And, um... You just sort of find them while you're doing other quests. You don't specifically go out and look for them. 